It is time now for the Sweetheart Program, brought to you today by Hereford Feed Ingredients. Wanda Holt has just celebrated her 80th birthday. She was born November the 1st, 1936 in Bidi County to Willie Lee and Sophia May Rice. Dr. L.T. Green of Milshu delivered her. She had five brothers and sisters. Willie May and Dale L.W. Rice both lived in Sudan and are now deceased. Douglas lives in Albergado. Norman in Kentucky, and Kathy Gatewood in Sudan. Wanda Rice graduated from Sudan High School in 1955. She was working for Grace Benton and with Benny Pena at the Bracero program here in Milshu. At the time, Jimmy Clyde Holt, who had graduated from Milshu High School in 1954, was attending the University of Texas in Austin, but he would come home during the summers and work for his parents, Clyde and Mary Frances Holt, at their service station located at the crossroads here. During the summer between his junior and senior year at UT, he kept eyeing a young lady as she drove past his parents' service station. And I do mean service station. They came out and serviced your car. One day, while Wanda was having lunch at a drive-in restaurant here in Milshu on the Clovis Highway, Conveniently, Jimmy Clyde pulled up beside her in his car. He made a date with Wanda Rice and took her to Riadosa, where they went to the horse races and had a candlelight dinner. She said they both knew from that first date they were meant to be together. That was in July of 1956, and they were married five months later on December the 23rd, 1956, at the First United Methodist Church in Sudan. She was a Baptist, but she wanted a center aisle for her wedding, and so they had the wedding at the First United Methodist Church there in Sudan, but the Baptist pastor the Reverend Wayne Perry conducted the marriage ceremony. Their first home was in Austin, where he was still in school. They lived in a garage apartment filled with antiques, and Wanda said she remembered at the time she just didn't appreciate all of the beautiful antiques. She worked for Texas State Representative Jess Osborne from Milshu. However, she did not get to finish the term in Mr. Osborne's office as she became pregnant with their first son, Jimmy Justin. In 1958, Jim Holt graduated from the University of Texas, and he was on a track team that set several national records. He coached at first and then worked for Production Credit Association for 30 years. They were living in Pecos where he was working for the bank there. And when he retired, they moved back to Milshu in 1999 from Pecos. Jim Holt died December the 29th, 2014. Wanda has five sons five grandchildren, and one great-grandson. Jimmy of Fort Worth is the system configurations architect for Bell Helicopter. He graduated from West Texas State in Canyon, and his wife Becky is a nurse. They have one son, Michael, who lives in Amarillo, and Michael has Wanda's great-grandson, Noah, who is six years old. Lynn and his wife, Margo, live in Starkville, Mississippi. They have one daughter, May Grace. Lynn is the head of the Classic and Modern Language and Literature Department at Mississippi State University. Lynn received his degrees from Mississippi State and Vanderbilt. His wife, Margo, graduated from Mississippi State and is a registered dietitian. 
Glenn is a professor at Boston University in the engineering department. He got his undergraduate degree at Ole Miss and went on to get a PhD. He studied in Germany and in Pasadena he worked for JPL and was in the astronaut program. Glenn has three children, Esther, Eric, and Laura. Tony and his wife, Dana, live in Opelika, Alabama. He served our country in the United States Marines. Tony got his degree from Ole Miss in Russian and political science. Dana, his wife, got her doctorate in forestry and is a research engineer at Auburn. Tony works for Follett Higher Education Group. Bill is a graduate of the University of Texas, just like his father. He lives in Austin and works in the Texas Attorney General's office. Bill, Tony, Jimmy, and their families will be home for Thanksgiving. And not only will they be celebrating Thanksgiving, but Wanda's 80th birthday. And there are eight family members in the Hope clan who have a birthday during November that they'll also be celebrating. We want to say to you, Wanda Holt, you are our sweetheart for today, being honored by Hereford Feed Ingredients and all of us here at Channel 6. God bless you and your big family. The Sweetheart Program has been brought to you today by Hereford Feed Ingredients. You can find it on Reach Broadband Channel 6 in our rotation. Also, MuleshoeTV.com on our website. Click at the, on the Sweetheart link at the top of the page. If you'd like to nominate someone to be our sweetheart here on Reach Broadband Channel 6, MuleshoeTV.com. Call 806-272-3990. We need a short biography and a picture.